Welcome back to Tiny Echo. Our cute little creature has fallen asleep because I was idle for a few minutes. <laughs> Come on, wake up. Let's go on an adventure. So in the last episode we did, we moved the fox out of the way. So we should have access to another little area over here. So let's deliver some more letters. We were almost halfway in delivering our letters here. So uh, let's see if we can do that. That'd be really cool. See, he's moved. The fox has now moved. So we should be able to get through into that little tree, I think. I think he should let us pass now. So that would be really awesome. All right, in you go, little guy. It takes forever to move from place to place. That's the only thing about this game is your character moves really, really slowly for sure. I think we have to go through this area, but we'll see. There's also an area at the top there. I am unsure how to get to. Maybe that's where this uh, tree will take us. I am unsure. We, we will see once we make it past the little fox. He just kind of opens his eye. He doesn't care that we walk past now. So we're safe. We're safe and sound. So that's good. All right. Where are we now? What a peculiar place we are at here. Hmm. Like a cliff? I don't see it. Oh, there's a... That you can give a thing. That's a thing up there. We can give a letter to that, whatever that is. What is that? Is it a plant? I have no idea what that even is, but it's going to take our letter, apparently. Um, it wants something, I think. Do the birds do something? I have no idea. It doesn't... It won't take it because I think it needs sunlight. I think that's what it's saying, right? I don't know how to... How to do that. Huh? The music stopped. Oh. I'm confused. Wait, what did that do? I just clicked random stuff and we'll just, just see what happens when you click random stuff. Oh, it did something. Oh, it came out. Or maybe it needed shade. Oh, maybe the sun was too strong so it needed some shade. I think maybe that's what was happening. I don't know. <laughs> You kind of just has to have to guess as you go in. But there we go. That's the halfway point on delivering all of the, the letters to the spirits here. So that's really cool. I feel like we've missed a few things though. I'm not quite sure where to go next, but I'll figure it out. I, I always do, right? <laughs> we'll, we'll find it for sure. I feel confident that, that we can figure it out for sure. Okay, there we go. The letter has been delivered enjoy she's like a plant fox creature thing you have no idea hmm maybe she's an alchemist i have no idea <laughs> just guessing of course it's like the kind of game where you really have to try and guess to uh, to see what's going on all right mission accomplished music connoisseur is the achievement i just unlocked on on steam so that's cool all right then, another one is delivered. Yay, happy times. I hope we get paid for this because <laughs> we have been delivering to a lot of spirits. So I hope they're at least grateful for the endeavors that we have been going through. Oh, there's a spirit up here as well. I didn't even notice this guy. Is there anything I can do with this guy? I don't know if this is a guy that we can go to. I don't think I can climb up there, to be honest with you. I don't think so, anyway. No. I think... He makes nice music though, so that's cool. I think that's it for this area. I don't think there's anything else we can do here, so let's backtrack a bit. We need to figure out a way to get up to the very top of the map. I think that's where we probably need to work out where to go next, um, but I don't quite know how we're gonna do that. See that little area right at the top? There's gotta be a way up there, right? Is there a way to climb over here? Oh, you can go behind the house. Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. It's so hard to tell sometimes, like, which pathways you can actually take. So I was lucky I managed to, to spot that. <laughs> that was really out of the way, for sure. Oh, this leads back up here, where these little creatures are. Oh, okay. But that's kind of unhelpful because I don't think there's anything down here that's really going to help us too much. So that's a shame. Let's uh, let's go back. So you can get little Echo to interact with this thing, I think. Come on, little guy. 
What's going on? Oh, he waved. He's like, I'm, I'm not scary. You can come give me a, a letter. So I guess she was scared by the appearance of this guy, but he's actually a friendly spirit and just wants a letter, it seems. Oh, well. I honestly didn't think that I could get closer to, to this spirit. So this one was counted as a spirit that we needed to deliver to. I honestly thought it was bad to get close to this thing, but it seems I was completely wrong. <laughs> but okay then. All right, I wonder if like some evil spirit has like taken over his soul or something. I have no idea, but here we go. Snap out of it. <laughs> there we are. He looks much friendlier when I look at him from this angle, I would say. Right, so that's seven that we've delivered so far, I think. All right, time to wake up. Still kind of looks spooky though. Hasn't really changed his appearance from this side of the world anyways but it's time to keep looking around let's see where we can go next okay i don't think i went down here see there's a way into this cave down here i'm sure of it i just don't know how to get there I totally didn't even realise there was a hole here. Let's try going down here. <laughs> I think this is what we're supposed to do. Alright, here we go. That was really hard to spot. Some stuff in this game is really hard to notice. There's just like so much like detail in the environment. And sometimes it's so easy to miss the pathways and where to go. It's really hard to see where actually it wants me to go. All right, here we go. I think we've made it to a new area. Oh my God, that bird looks amazing. They're ginormous. They're huge. Are they spirits too? I don't know if we're gonna be giving uh, letters to giant birds though. That doesn't seem right, but maybe I could give one to this dude. Now this dude's just fishing and minding his own business by the looks of it. What happens if we click on the, the birds? No, they're not gonna eat me, are they? I think they might be dangerous birds. I don't think I can go down there whilst the birds are in the way, actually. They're probably going to think I'm a worm or something. Oh, and again, there was something here that I just didn't notice. There's a hole right here hiding behind these weeds. <laughs> I totally didn't notice that. Okay, am I going to pop up through, through the other side? Oh god, they're not going to eat me, are they? Oh, they fly off. I really thought I was going to get eaten, but okay. <laughs> I guess that's better than being eaten for sure. Okay, what's happening now? Where where am I? Is this where the birds flew to? I have no idea. I have not... Oh, this is the area where that little mole was crying, actually. I know where that is. Okay, what are they doing? They're eating the berries. Oh, they're getting rid of the, the like that, that stuff, the berries, the berry tree, so I can actually get past. I see. All right. Maybe the mole will be happy now. Maybe that's what we needed to do to cheer him up. I have no idea. Can I click on these feathers? Nope. Doesn't seem that I can, at least not right now. Okay, so we'll go to that mole area. I know where that is, so we should be able to, to do that, actually. All right, we've made it awesome and the birds are still there they're not gonna cause me any problems are they <laughs> i'm hoping that i can go and talk to this little mole now and hopefully he'll be happy and will accept a letter from us or something is that a bird down there can only just make it out oh that's a spirit oh wait what he needs water wait can i give you this spirit's tears <laughs> Does that sound like really bad? <laughs> it sounds kind of depressing, doesn't it? I don't know if we can or not. I have no idea. She's thinking. Oh, she's gonna cry with with the poor little thing. Looks like we can't save him just yet. I always feel really bad. <laughs> the poor little dude. I really wonder what's wrong. I really wonder if we can help them. Okay, let's, uh, can we go up further? All right, there we go. She like got stuck. It seems that we should be able to to give a letter to uh, this little person up here. What is she holding? What is that? I have no idea. A musical instrument, maybe? I have no clue. Should we give them a letter? Can we do this? All right, there we go. Another letter for you, sir or madam. I am unsure. Did we give them one? What happened? Here, take it. Uh, she wants leaves? What does that even mean? 
I have no clue. Okay. Oh, it looks like we can go through here. Let's see where this takes us. Could be a brand new area. I am intrigued. We shall see. Oh, okay. A little like cave or something. Okay, let's go down here and see where this leads. You can do this little echo. I have faith in you, girl. You got this. All right, let's go down here. She's kind of really cute, I have to say. She's an alien though, but like, she's kind of cute at the same time. She seems really endearing. Is there anything we can do with these little chicks? Or this bird? No, I guess not. Okay then, let's keep going up here and we'll see what we can do. Oh, there's another spirit up here. And there is also a little thing that can destroy stuff with its fire. It's fiery ways. Let's give the letter to this little thing. I think she wants to uh, like this, right? That's probably what she wants to do. I think she's going to take it. Yeah, she wants me to set this on fire with our little friend over here. I always don't like it. I don't like using these though because after we use them, they just kind of disappear in a little pile of ash. And I find that really sad, but... It has to be done. We gotta light this. We gotta do this for our spirit friend. All right, there we go. Mission accomplished. I hope that satisfies our little friend. There you go. Are you happy now? Are you an anteater? Not quite sure what you are, but you're making cute noises. Here you go. I have letter for you. Enjoy. All right, let's see what happens. Like in the weird spirit world. Let's see what's going on over here. I'm just assuming that's what it is. Gosh, it's very noisy down here. What's she doing? Ah, oh, she's warming her hands up. I, I see, like, I totally get it. It's really cold right now, so yeah, that's something I would do too. <laughs> okay, wake up. All right, there she goes. She can make fire with her hands. She didn't need me after all. Now she can make all the fire that she wants right? <laughs> I would assume so. All right, there we go. Wake up, little dude. Wake up and smell the sunshine. Not that you can smell sun sunshine, but <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We have delivered yet another letter and we can go through here as well. We've done eight out of 13 and we're getting so close now. So close awesome stuff. All right, what have we got through here? We still need to find some water and like some leaf or something. I'm not quite sure. Oh, hello. What is going on here? Okay. There's like a dude that keeps appearing. Hmm. Is it random? I have no idea. Very strange. What happens if I go through here? Maybe I'll bump into him or something. I don't know. I feel like there was a puzzle there. Um, oh, I made it up to this top part. I always wondered how to get up here. All right. I wonder if there's something I can do over here. Hello, peoples. What's going on? They're kind of ignoring me. <laughs> Why am I just like looking over at them like that? What? Am I being ignored? I'm really confused. Oh, what's that? I clicked something. What on earth? What is that? A piece of paper? What did I just do? Is it a pillow? Oh, so I can sit down with them. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> We're having coffee with them as well. That's so adorable. <laughs> I was wondering what on earth was happening. So I guess that was all that was for. Oh, a spirit appeared. I only just realized. It's the spirit of coffee. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. So there we go. There's another one. That's 9 out of 13, I think. So uh, yeah, getting there slowly. Can you hear the kettle? Oh my god. This kettle is noisy. It sounds like a kettle. It sounds horrible. It sounds absolutely awful. I don't like it. Oh, thank God for that. It sounds squeaky and awful and horrible. But there we go. Just drink your your coffee and 
have a good time or something. I don't know. All right, there we go. That is another one. I feel like we've missed a couple of spirits though, for sure. I know where two of them are and possibly one more with the little thing that kept popping its head out of um, the last area that we were in. I'm unsure if that's um, some spirit that we have to deliver to, but we'll find out. All right, so that's this area done. I kind of liked that. Like, I like how Echo just like sat down and had a little coffee with them. I thought that was really, really cute. Really adorable at the same time. There is something here with this spirit up here. I think I need to deliver a letter to this spirit, but I'm unsure what I'm actually supposed to do. Intriguing, I just moved this. Maybe I can direct this thing to the hole I want it to go to. Did I get him? I think I got him. Yes, I closed the lids on the pots at the back and then he couldn't like go through the pots. So then he had no choice but to accept my letter. <laughs> Yay. So there's only two more and we know where they are. At least I think there was two more. No, actually there might be three more, but I know that there's not very many left and I know where two of them are. I'm just not sure how to actually, actually go about doing it. Okay. What's he doing? Is he in a river or something? Dear Lord, that's noisy, making me thirsty. All right, here you go. Have this letter and wake up. He's reading a book now. Seems like a very calming day for reading. <laughs> this is a super relaxing game, actually. It really is. All right, wake up, little dude. Wake up, there we go kind of told him to move but that's okay okay I just need to work out like what I actually have to do for the next part because I'm actually kind of unsure as to what I'm supposed to to do next okay so this guy wanted water what we had to do was cry with the mole to give us a water droplet that we should be able to give to this thirsty spirit right although it's kind of a bit like it's not really like proper water I don't know how effective this would be but apparently it works so you can have my my water droplets sure <laughs> all right let's deliver this letter although we still have to cheer up that mole and I, I really want to figure out how to to do that that would be fantastic I feel real bad for that little guy but I'm sure there is a way to do that at some point we'll figure it out we'll figure it out all right here you go take my letter little guy why are you so sad why is it so windy it sounds windy anyway but I don't know does he have the power of wind wait does he have the power of water can he make it rain I have no idea. <laughs> so many questions. So many questions. All right. Mission accomplished. Happy times. Happy times. And there we go. He is all happy again. Yay. Awesome. All right. We're still missing a couple of spirits to give our letters to. Not many left now, though, I don't think. Okay, I looked at a guide on how to do this because honestly, I don't think I would have worked this one out. Um, basically, what we have to do for this very top spirit up here is, oh, I think I need to, I need to talk to the mole first. We have to, you see these little pots? They have like little spouts and we have to put water in them and water them, which will make some bumblebees appear, which is what the spirit at the very top of this area wants. She wants some like bumblebees. So we're going to do that for her. We're going to create that scenario for her so she can have a great time. See, she's got some like honey. She's got like a honeycomb little thingy majig. So that's what she's after. And there we go. See, water will come through that. It's very powerful tears. <laughs> can make a, a river out of your own tears. Did you know that? <laughs> All right, there we go. We made a giant puddle. Like, can you imagine how much you'd actually have to cry to get that much water? Like, it's kind of sad when you think about it that way. All right, here we go. Make this one, make her cry in this one as well. And then we have the final pot to do at the very top and it should work. 
hopefully we'll see and then we'll have some bumblebees that spawn up here on like this piece of wood and then sh we should be able to give her a letter as well and then I think we're really really close she might even be the last one I'm unsure we'll we'll see we'll see what happens I think last time I went to the right through that little hole and then I went down and we did the little fire thing with the the fire creature so this time we should go to the left as well all right, there we go. And there's our little bumblebees coming out. Oh, we made the flowers. We didn't actually make the bumblebees. We made the flowers so they could, you know, get what they need from the, the flowers and make their honey, right? <laughs> I think she just wanted some honey. And there we go. Your, your mission has been accomplished. So she should be quite happy now. There we go. We can give her the letter. Awesome. Why do we have to do things for them to accept our letter, though? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea, but it works, so I guess that's good. Can you hear the bees? Oh my god, they're so loud. Very, very loud bees. Is she sick? Does she need some, like, kind of honey, some kind of honey medicine or something? Maybe that's what's going on. All right. And now she's gonna... She's making her honey. Very nice. Enjoy. Honey is really tasty. I really like it. It's good. I didn't used to like honey, but it's very, very tasty for sure. All right, and that's another one accomplished. Happy days. We must be super close now. Why is she putting it on her head? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't ask these questions right now. I don't know. Oh, it's got dark. What does this mean? Oh my God, we have one more left to go. We're so close now. Oh my gosh. But what does it mean? Why Why has it gone so dark? I don't know. I don't know if I like the look of this. I feel like something bad is going to happen. Hopefully I'm wrong. <laughs> but I honestly have no clue. Okay, so this is where like the tree fell, right? I think we made this tree fall down here. At least I think so anyway. But we should be able to explore. There's like a little hole, right? So it looks like we can go in there. So let's do that doesn't seem to be anything else in this area anyway so let's go through and we'll see what awaits us inside i got an achievement a steam achievement called traveler we have traveled to many places for sure there's a little fox dude up there oh he pets his little like fox up there let's see is this one of the spirits we need i don't think there's anything else like anyone else yes awesome so this is the last one does that mean we've finished it what what's gonna happen now that we've delivered all of our mail i have no idea i guess only one way to find out right <laughs> i am very intrigued though what's going on here delivery done we got an achievement called delivery done very nice i don't know if they pop up on the the videos actually sometimes they do sometimes they don't is is time ticking away what what does this mean i don't know all right snap out of it guys here we are maybe time stopped maybe once we woke them up they started time again maybe time's flowing i don't know <laughs> No idea. Okay, so we did it, right? Are these all the peoples we delivered our letters to? I think so. All right, what does this mean? I have no idea. Where do we go? That's the question. Is there a way for me to, to go? No idea. We've done all our mail now. So that's cool. I just don't know what it wants me to do now. I guess we leave, I suppose. We have some happy spirits, right? <laughs> I assume. I guess that's good. All right. Oh, we're going home now. Oh, we're done. <laughs> Delivery's done. So time to go bed, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. That was a short little adventure. Is there more? Let's see. What's going on? Oh, the spirits are climbing back up, like to their world. Did they like fall down? It looked like there was like a, a hole or something like fell and all the spirits fell down and they ended up in the wrong place and we had to deliver letters to get them to go back up. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, life is now growing on the, the area up above. I see. Uh, interesting. 
Okay, will anything happen to the bodies here or are they just completely dead? Or maybe the spirits will inhabit the bodies up here. I have no idea. We'll see. Oh, fire is... The fire is coming back to the, to the barren wasteland as well. They have greenery, they have fire, they have water. Maybe there were spirits that controlled um, natural things like uh, water, wind, fire, earth, that kind of thing. Maybe that was what was going on. Now we have stars appearing. I feel like this world like missed all of the components that makes it habitable perhaps. Very strange, very peculiar. And there we go. Oh, they moved! They're alive! <laughs> yeah! We saved the weird things. I don't know what they are. Are they humans? Are they astronauts? Are they aliens? I have no, no clue. But we did a good thing today, I think. <laughs> we did a good deed, that's all I know. And there we go. We completed the game. It was very short, of course. Only an hour long, around about about an hour so it was a cute little experience i still don't quite know what i was doing and what happened but i do think it's something to do with bringing life back to the world above i think that was what we were doing but i'm not 100 percent sure but it was a cute little game why not i don't mind these little short experiences they're quite nice sometimes. It was relaxing too. Let me know what you thought of this game in the comments section below. Did you enjoy it or was it not your kind of game? I completely understand how this game wouldn't be for everyone. I don't think everybody would be into this style for sure, but I quite liked it. So I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. And if you are interested in donating, there will be a link in the description box below to my patreon page it's only one dollar a month to gain access and i'm currently uploading exclusive anime review videos only on patreon thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed please comment rate and subscribe and i hope i'll see you next time